Hey guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you this colorful eye look and it was inspired by Natasha Denona. So I follow her on Instagram and her Tropic palette is just looks so beautiful but it is so expensive but I just love how unique it is. So it is inspired by this eye look. And I just thought it looked so beautiful and I really wanted to recreate it for you guys using more affordable products and more affordable eyeshadows. So there's a lot of ColourPop, I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette and I believe a Juvia's Place one. I've just been really into bright colors and playing with them and just doing more unique looks. So use whatever you have in your collection. If you have similar colors, you can definitely recreate this look. So if you would like to see how to recreate this colorful eye look, then just keep on watching. To start, I will be taking the shade Daddy from ColourPop on a synthetic crease brush and popping that on the inner corners of my eye. And you just really want to keep building that color up slowly. Next, with this crease brush, I'll be taking this green from the Juvia's Place palette and I'm putting that on the outer half on my crease to create a gradient effect. To deepen up that color, I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I use the matte teal shade just so it gave it a little bit more pigment. I am taking Special Delivery Super Shock Shadow and placing it all over my lid. Excuse my ratch nails, thanks. Going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm taking the Royal Blue shade and placing it on the outer and inner parts of my lid to sort of make a halo eye. Also took this blue shade on this detailed crease brush and just placed it right in my crease just so the transition is more seamless and then I took Special Delivery and this shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and placed it in the middle of my lid just to give the eye a little bit more dimension. Then I went back in with that first purple shade we used and used it to re-intensify the inner part of the eye. And I also went back in with that teal shade as well as the blue shade. This look is all about um, layering and blending so just stay patient. Then I just went ahead and highlighted my brow bone and then I went ahead and took this pencil brush and mixed the blue and purple shades together and placed them on the outer half of my lower lash line. Since I wanted this to be more everyday and natural, if you can consider these colors natural, I didn't blow it out as much as the picture. And I also took that teal and blended it in the middle. This whole look is about tailoring it to your preference, so if you want to make this super intense, then go for it. And as you can see, the model had a beautiful gradient and also a popped inner corner, so I took the Fenty Beauty highlighter and I just used that to highlight my inner corners. And then I lined my inner waterline with this black eyeliner by Smashbox. The eyes are basically done. It's time to finish off the face. So I'm bronzing with Hoola by Benefit. And to clean up and brighten, I am using the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. And this makes the biggest difference. It really helps just to make everything blend and look seamless. Then I went ahead and added this Pinky Nudie Blush by Tarte. And just blended it out with a stippling brush. To highlight, I'm taking my... Fave, which is the Anastasia and Amrezy highlighter and placing it all over the highest points of my face and just because I'm extra I am adding the Fenty highlight and lightning dust on top of that. Set my brows, I'm using this Anastasia brow gel in chocolate and just adding some mascara. To finish this look, I'm lining my lips with Tara by Maybelline from the Gigi collection and I topped it off with Quickie Lipstick and Neat Freak Gloss by Colourpop. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.